Shit is back, shit is back, shit is back. Do, do, dun, dun, dun. Today, guys, you're gonna get the ultimate cable car experience, the movie. I've been playing eight hours to record all of this. I've been playing 23 games and I opened the ticket office 15 times. There's gonna be tons of excitement, ups and downs, craziness, kills, death, everything. So let's go. In the very first game, I had a nice spawn, so all I had to do is to run to the cable car station and start opening the electric safe, the free safe, and unfortunately, I didn't find anything useful. I cleared the whole area and then, you know, I just wanted to extract and then start a new game. I have not mentioned that I've been playing this challenge with 6x zoom or above type of guns which could be an m14 m24 m110 svds or whatever but that was part of the challenge that i'm not allowed to play with assault rifles smgs or anything else so only guns where i cannot like automatically shoot just like ping ping or ping and then 6x zoom or 7x zoom and i started the whole thing with m24 so after clearing cable car station i wanted to extract and this is how i got into my first fight and i was the one seeing him first i was the one shooting him but he didn't die and then little panic attack you know, I was trying to relocate, but I didn't see anything because there was a tree and then, oh my God, what should I do? And I died, but, but I was the one shooting first. So I was proud of myself because I'm literally the worst sniper guy in arena breakout. In the next game, I got free access again to the free safe, to the electric safe, ticket office. But unfortunately again, nothing, no red items, nothing. But I heard that there is something happening next to the cable car station. So hills and rocks and all kind of stuff. I was prepared for enemies to come, but they just didn't come. So I kept looting and after I was finished, I was very cautiously checking the rocks. And, and look at that. One shot is all it takes. Grabbing all your loot. Opportunities. And in this game, I extracted with a fat juicy 467,000. Let's go. Woo! In the next game, I got the God Spawn for the hotel, but not for this challenge. And I instantly got attacked. Like, like literally right where I was spawning, I got attacked and I was so embarrassed. Guys, I was so embarrassed because in my head, what I plan to do is that I shoot the guy with M24, no scope obviously, and then I turn around and shoot the other guy with Deagle. What happened is that I shot the guy once, maybe I hit him like here and, and he didn't die. And then he was pulling his knife he stabbed me with the knife and the other guy was shooting me from behind. But it, it, it felt to be so bad. I, I should have switched to my deagle or whatever. But look at that. It's just so <laughs> embarrassing. After mentally recovering from that embarrassing moment, I started a new game and I had exactly the same spawn. So kind of the memories kicked in and I felt like that I need to do it differently. I was very cautious. I was hugging the rocks and I was very slowly progressing to my objective, to the cable car station. And I was moving so slowly that it took me approximately five minutes to get from one rock to another. And then I was again hugging the rock and I heard footsteps. I, I also knew that there is something happening on the radio station. So I was constantly looking at the direction. Then I heard footsteps. I was looking around, but I, I didn't see anybody. And then I explained to myself, you know how this goes. I explained to myself that it must have been a bot, but it wasn't, it was a player. So no additional comments are required here. <laughs> so there you go. Again, I got the shit spawn, but depends on how you look at it because it's the best spawn, but in this case, it's very bad. So you understand. I was proceeding slowly and I cannot actually decide whether if it's just better to run to my location and then, you know, face whatever comes or play it slowly. And if you play it slowly, then maybe somebody spots you. I was proceeding slowly and I was the one actually spotting somebody. 
and then I shot that guy, but I didn't hit him. But then I shot again, and I again didn't hit him. And then out of the blue, well, not out of the blue, out of the bushes and trees, a chat showed up, alien helmet, and bang, 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 bang. And there we go, Shady is dead. Keep on finding, we've been shot by Chad, shot by Chad. If you haven't watched the Eminem Stem parody we've been doing with Rugaboom, then after this video, it should be the first thing you do, okay? Watch it, and if you have seen it already, then watch it again. I started the next game with full motivation. M24, forgetting about the past, excluding everything and focusing on this game. And there was a squad around. I saw my first target. I started shooting and he was like jumping like a chicken. Like, ah, ah, where are the shots coming from? Shady, don't kill me. I killed that guy, but he had two other teammates. One to the right and one to the left. I switched into John Wick mode, pulling my deagle, starting to shoot the guy on the right. Bang, 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 bang. Then turning to the left, reloading, starting to shoot that guy as well. The only difference between John Wick and myself is that he would have survived somehow. I didn't. At this point, I was really pissed off because I died four times without having a chance to open the ticket office. But all of that is nothing compared to what you're gonna see what's ahead of us. So this time I got a good spawn. I got the free safe. I got the ticket office. I got the whole cable car station. No danger, no threat. I could loot it all. After clearing the whole cable car station, I started moving towards the sewage plant and as I arrived I saw that there is something happening. I pulled my M24 and shot that guy, the first guy. I shot that guy but I knew that there is somebody else around and what I thought would be a good idea is to move up to the building and then be sneaky then out of the window spot somebody and shoot somebody and, and actually I did. Usually, you know, I'm not sniping, so it was like a very nice feeling. Like, I, I felt that satisfaction that I spotted somebody and he didn't know, and then one shot, and then he's dead. It's good. It's actually good. So, I thought the area is clear and it's time to start looting. And guess what? Guess what? Guess what? That guy, my first kill, had an SKS. But not like a regular SKS, a modded SKS, a modded SKS with a thermal scope, guys, with a thermal scope. The ammunition he was using was absolutely trash, but he had a T5 helmet and other good stuff. So I picked everything up and then I got into danger. Somebody spotted me and somebody started shooting at me. But I said to myself, OK, no, no worries, no worries. Don't panic, Shady. I used my smoke and tried to buy myself some time. I even saw one of the guys and started shooting at him, but he didn't die. Again, the ammunition in the SKS was terribly bad. So I decided to leave my other kill behind. I wanted to get to the building and then from the building get to the extract and basically secure what I already have. And everything went actually pretty well. Sometimes I was even turning around to check the area, but as I got near to the extraction, to that village, I got shot again and I think I started panicking because instead of running I was hiding in that small building, small house and then two teammates came from two sides and I felt that okay, okay I'm gonna die. And actually I didn't die because after running outside and then around the corner I could shoot that guy with my deagle and then I turned around and that was the point, I died. I died to a freaking Timmy and I lost the turmoil, I lost everything. <sighs> Never mind, let's not forget that at the end of the day, these are just pixels, okay? Some of the pixels are more valuable than the others, but at the end of the day, it's just pixels in the game. So I dressed up, started a new game, and in this game I had an easy pass to the cable car station. Again, I could open the free safe, again I could open the ticket office. But unfortunately, again, I didn't find anything useful. And after opening the ticket office, I heard like a full squad incoming and nades and nades and more nades and even more nades. And 
obviously I died. It was, I guess, a fully geared squad and then they were just rushing me. And the funny thing is, guys, that I could actually self-revive myself, but at the moment I revived and stood up, that was the point where the enemy was appearing and he shot me again. But this is Arena Breakout, it, it, it's always like that, like one shot is missing, one second is missing, one millisecond is missing, this is Arena Breakout. In the next game something new happened, because this was the first time I met Fred and his squad, the boss, in case you don't know, and uh, I killed him, I killed the guards, I looted again the free save. Again, I looted the ticket office, but I think you can hear based on my voice that I'm disappointed because I was opening it already five times and I didn't find anything. And nothing fancy happened, I didn't meet any players, so I was extracting. I extracted with approximately 230,000-ish. After so many deaths, it was so relieving that I could keep myself alive and extract. In the next game, due to my spawn, I started at the sewage plant. And while I was opening the safe, I was actually hoping to find something. I know that the chances are not high, but since I'm always risking like 150 or 200,000, I was deeply hoping for a red item, an extra red item, something, a necklace or vase or teapot or whatever. But uh, I didn't find anything, so I had to move to the cable car station. And actually, every time I open a document box, or a business suitcase, then deep inside I always have a slight hope that I am gonna find a secret document. I never ever found one and you know, that hope always goes away. After opening it and finding a soap or toilet paper, you know, it always goes away. It's so bad. It's so sad. It's so sad. <laughs> <laughs> no secret documents. When I wanted to extract, I couldn't because somebody attacked me from the hill. And actually I had a pretty good spot, so I was able to kill that guy who was shooting at me from the rock or from the hill. And I thought that player is alone. Well, I was wrong because when I started running outside, I got shot again, so I had to go back. And he kept shooting me, I was running out of meds, I had broken limbs, broken arms. So I was doing something I usually don't do, but I started ratting. I went to the balcony. Uh, of that building where you have the free safe and I was waiting because I was expecting him to come and guess what he was actually coming and I got the kill Yeehaw! Yeehaw! but unfortunately both of them had trash loot so I was extracting with only 200,000 game number 11 one of my favorites by the way so again I was spawning next to the hotel but hey by now I just got used to it so I started running towards the dam and I stopped for a minute next to the cliff sometimes I'm kind of looking around and there was somebody coming a T5 Chad he had no clue and he was absolutely caught off guard because who is that stupid who is not going into the hotel if you have a spawn that is that near to the hotel well I was that stupid guy and I could easily shoot him but here's the twist I knew that he has a teammate right because he got knocked I had to shoot him multiple times and I get greedy just a tiny bit so on top of picking up his fall his t5 his rig his backpack everything I even wanted to check his pockets and then bang he shut me down bang bang and the learning guys is that don't spend so much time on looting especially if that guy has teammates don't be greedy pick up the gun the helmet and then you know run away in the next game obviously i spawn next to the hotel again and i would be a very 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 rich guy by now if i would have been opening the safes in the hotel but i didn't so i went to cable car station and by the time i arrived there i heard that there is an enemy squad inside so i was very sneaky i tried not to make any noise and i was hiding in one of the rooms which wasn't looted yet and I expected them or somebody to come sooner or later. And then it actually happened. The first guy came, I killed that guy. And then the second guy came from the other side. I killed that guy as well. And then guess what? The third guy also came and then I killed that guy as well. And these guys had some lovely stuff. AX50, T5, 
SVDS and whatnot. And I was truly not expecting to find the ticket office being closed, but it was closed. And I thought that how fun it would be that after having such a nice loot already, how nice it would be to find a red item on top. And guess what? I found one. I finally found a red item. And then I flew away with the cable car with approximately 1 million. Now that I got rich, I hired a personal bodyguard. I asked Sequel to support me in this challenge and in case I die, he could eventually return my stuff. So we went to the cable car station, everything was empty, I could open the electric safe, the ticket office safe and guess what, nothing. So I didn't actually expect anything to be in that safe. And then on our way home, we checked the sewage plant and I got into danger. First I thought it's a bot, then it was a player and he actually shot me, but then Zekriel killed that guy. So it was actually good that I hired the bodyguard because he was actually carrying back my stuff. I got everything back. In the next game I still had my bodyguard and as we were arriving to the cable car station, we quickly found out that there is already somebody here, to be more precise, a squad, a duo. And uh, we were therefore very cautiously approaching the area. And that poor guy with a T5 helmet, flashy RPK, he was opening the door and we instantly started shooting with our M110s, M80 bullets. He couldn't stand them and he was just collapsing. We knew that there was another guy downstairs, we heard the footsteps, so I was checking one of the stairs and Zeke was checking the other stairs. That guy had no escape. And this is actually good proof, like jokes aside, that if you are holding angles and if you are holding them correctly, then your enemies have absolutely no chance. Unfortunately, the ticket office was already opened, so we picked up all of the stuff. By the way, Zikriel killed both of them, so it wasn't my kill, any of them. And when it was time to leave, unexpected guests arrived to the cable car station. You know how it goes. If you flip the switch, then a message is being shown to everybody who is in the lobby. And I guess they saw that message. Maybe they've been somewhere nearby. So they were coming for us. And the bad thing is that we've been expecting them to push from the main entrance or from that side where you can enter like the cable car station and unfortunately Zekiel died because there was another guy sniping from that place where you can extract eventually not all the time but there's a you know sometimes an extract and I died exactly the same way because I didn't even realize that Zekiel got shot from there so he killed both of us and we couldn't extract, we lost everything, our loadouts, everything we picked up. And it was kind of really, really, really frustrating at this point. Game 15 was boring as hell. Nothing really happened. Cable car station was empty, no enemies, no good loot. I didn't find anything in the electric safe, nothing in the free safe. So we extracted and I got myself a juicy 52,000. I started the next game, but this time I was alone because my bodyguard had other duties. So I was on my own heading to the cable car station and I was spotting somebody on the stairs and I started shooting that guy and unfortunately I couldn't kill him. He was hiding somewhere in the front of that facility. I was moving deeper and then I found out that the ticket office is already opened. And I also found out that there is another enemy who tried to nade me, but my timing was just simply better. And this is actually a good moment where I felt like that, you know, timing really matters. And then for some reason, my brain just kind of blocked or something was happening inside. He was fighting one of the bots and he was peeking, throwing a nade. And instead of rushing him, I backed up and I started running and then he threw another nade and that nade just Shady is gone, Shady is destroyed. I was playing this terribly bad. So folks, I think the next one, you're gonna love this. I was rushing to the cable car station, straight to the ticket office, like straight to the ticket office, because I realized the boss Fred is around and the guards. And I thought that, you know, I'm gonna stick to my objective, open the room, and then afterwards deal with the bots. Again, didn't find anything in the electric safe. And I started 
fighting the bots and it went really well at least i thought it's going really well but then one of the guards just just you know he just shot me and i had to self revive and that nasty little bot didn't allow me to revive i'm not gonna hype the beginning of the game because it was really boring i was alone at the cable car station again i had free access to everything and again i didn't find anything useful so i was starting to move to the sewage plant and i saw that there's some fight happening and this time i wasn't pushing i did prone i was there in the grass next to a tree and then i spotted my first target he was on top of that container and guys i gotta tell you that this is like so freaking satisfying if you shoot somebody like this but i didn't stand up i didn't run to that guy to loot him because i knew that there is at least one more enemy so i waited i started seeing movement so the other guy was starting to kill the bots which were respawning and he was moving into the building where we have the free safe on sewage plant. I saw him that he is in the room where we have the free safe, but I didn't shoot him because I didn't exactly see where his head is. So I waited for a bit longer. I moved to that container where you have the stairs and then it happened through the window. Guys, a shot through the window without actually seeing that guy. I did it. I think this was the most beautiful shot from shady fox from me like through the window with a sniper ish type of gun one shot and i felt so happy i'm gonna show you what i felt okay after picking up all of their stuff, I extracted with approximately 350,000. In the next one, I was rushing the cable car station again, and I had such a lovely teammate. He was spamming kind of the voice commands, and I was also spamming them, and it was just fun. We had fun <laughs> from the spawn until we got to the cable car station. Upon arriving to the cable car station, again, I started opening all kind of things, the ticket office, and unfortunately, Unfortunately, again, no red item, no red item, but this time the loot was significantly better than usually because I found a typewriter and a military radio. Like I usually do, I ran to the sewage plant, but this time a camper, a rat, a bot like Timmy fish shot me in the back. Like why? Why was that guy even there? With full blunt honesty, it was starting to get too much. I was playing with these shitty like one tap rifles, no assault rifles, no SMG. I couldn't spray anybody for a very, very long time. I had some time to talk because the next game was again very boring. I headed to the cable car station, no enemies, you know not a good loot so i extracted with approximately 200,000. game 21 let me remind you that at this point i was actually really exhausted from this challenge so all i had in mind is to run to the cable car station open the ticket office and then extract or die or whatever again i had the boss but this time i was smarter i was killing some of the guards one by one and then headed straight to the ticket office to secure my loot my bad loot again because nothing special was inside no red items and guys do you remember the game where we got shot from that other location with the extract with Zeke and both of us died so i remembered that and i was intentionally checking that area and guess what there was a guy there there was this guy and interestingly i'm gonna slow this down because i felt like that i was aiming at his head and I felt like I shot his head, but I, but, but I didn't hit him. And it happened twice. After that, he kind of vanished. He didn't peek from that spot anymore. So I continued looting and I was like trying to check where he could be, but I was looking at the like 
wrong direction and he was hiding in the room where we have the free safe he was behind the window he was peeking there was absolutely no chance that i would have spotted him so he, he killed me but i still don't understand why i didn't hit that headshot you know i would have grabbed his stuff and would be like slightly richer than i am right now game 22 guess what guys spawning next to the hotel again I made my way to the cable car station and I heard shots. So I was not entering the facility. I was keeping myself outside and I was scoping from the outside. And I started seeing the guys. I started seeing two enemies. And then basically I just waited for the right moment and killed one of them. But I knew that there's another guy and I knew he was hiding in that left building or left room. I wanted to shoot him in a similar way to how I did that kill in one of the games. But this time it was different because for some reason I felt like that he knows where I am. Although I didn't make any noise. I was crouching, creep walking, but still I had the assumption that he knows. He was closing the door and then opening the door. And interestingly, he was running out and he was looking behind the door exactly where I was. But I don't understand why, because he didn't have any good headsets. He had that helicopter helmet. And still, it felt like he exactly knows that I'm there. So after grabbing their stuff, unfortunately, I had to find out that the ticket office was opened. And I was so upset because it meant I need to do yet another game. A final game to open the ticket office for the 15th time. So that's what I did. Game 23, the last game. I started running towards the cable car station and again my only goal was to open that door and check the safe and hoping for a final red item. Before arriving to the cable car station I saw an enemy exactly on the same spot where I couldn't kill that guy in one of the previous games but this time I shot him in the back and that guy died but I knew he had teammates but I, I didn't want to fight them. I just wanted to get to the ticket office. So I took the like the sneaky way on the left and I realized that on top of an enemy squad we also have the boss but I was rushing the ticket office and I opened it and I'm not gonna hype it. There was no red item, okay? And at that point I felt like the challenge is completed. I didn't even think about how I'm gonna extract I didn't care about the enemy squad or if I can kill them. But what happened was way beyond my imagination. So I was pushing. I saw that we have Fred. I, I killed the boss and then I killed uh, one of his guards. And, you know, I didn't care. I felt strong. Challenge completed. And I wanted to kill the next guard. And I truly didn't expect that these bots are such cheaters. I think it's not fair. I didn't report that bot, but I, I should have. So guys, we are done. That's, that's the cable car station movie by Shady Fox. And uh, before I close it, I want to give you a summary, okay? I'm going to cheat because I'm going to read it out loud. I have it on screen. I don't have every of the numbers in my head. So I was opening the ticket office electric safe 15 times and I found one red item. Considering that the key cost me approximately 240,000 coin, I could say that it was still worth buying that key because the price kind of returned. Out of the 23 games, I extracted only eight times, which is not that bad, but also not that good. It's approximately 34% extraction rate. In total, the extracted loot value was approximately 2.8 million. I extracted 2.66 million on the games where I survived and then during the games i died i always had something in my composite case so in total 2.8 million on the other hand i lost approximately 2.4 million calculating with an average loadout of 160,000. so in overall i made approximately 400,000 profit which is not good i mean if you consider that i had to play for eight hours 
and played 23 games, 400,000 profit is really not good. In total, I killed 17 operators, 17 real players, and I died 15 times, which is, again, not outstanding, but considering that I was mainly running solo or with randoms who were not around, and also considering the fact that I'm not good with snipers, it's like an okay stat. So the ultimate question is, is it worth farming the cable car station having the ticket office key being mainly solo with a sniper type of gun? Well, I'm not going to answer that. I leave it up to you. You tell me in the comment section if you feel it's worth doing it based on what you saw or it's absolutely not worth your time. If you got to this point of the video, then I'm going to surprise you with a legend stamp because I know it was long, but uh, I truly hope you enjoyed it. And the only last thing that is remaining is to shoot, loot, subscribe. Shady out. Bye.